Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and uh, like the title implies, I am actually scared of my community a lot more than I ever once thought. So ladies and gentlemen, I was actually browsing the Some Ordinary Gamer subreddit, which is still taken over by the mental asylums from the Batman Arkham subreddit, but hey, it is what it is. Somebody's got to house the loony bin. <laughs> but you know what's really wild is I actually watched a video from me that actually, I'm not going to lie to you, it scared me. I wish I had recorded my reaction, but I was actually playing Elden Ring while I had this up on the second monitor. So I'm going to play this four seconds to you and just show you exactly why I was a little shocked. So upon hitting play over here, I look out and BOOM! I get scared and actually teleport into the ether as an entire bomb seems to be exploding inside my entire, uh, you know, gaming setup. So immediately I was like, whoa, what video is this shit from? <laughs> and of course, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, what we call AI text to video. <laughs> now you remember a while back, I was looking at Sora, not a while back, three months ago, not that long, three months ago, we were looking at this Sora text to AI model with these like actual like dogs. You know, we, we're a long way away from Will Smith sloppily eating spaghetti to actually having real video generated. The world is cooked, okay? If you think you can trust anything on the internet, now it's fucking over boys this is what the world is now artificial intelligence now if you look at some of these scenes you can see like oh my god we're actually like filming or like you know making videos of real people walking down streets and obviously if you look at things like signage and you look at the fact that people teleport into the ether right there it's not perfect but I can already imagine that there's a Hollywood executive thinking, boys, how can we save hundreds of thousands of dollars and not film cheap B-roll and just have it generated through AI? You can tell, I can tell you right now, a Hollywood producer is looking through that shit as we speak. In fact, most of the B-roll industry is looking through this as we speak. Most of that industry might just be cooked. You see, this is the future of like videos, it, it, whatever, no matter how you, you want to perceive the world going forward, no matter how you feel about artificial intelligence, the sad thing to say is if this saves even $5, any company will go out and jump into it. But the rate that this stuff is expand, like expanding on is actually insane. We're looking at like animation quality like this. It's getting to a point where you give it like another year and the quality might get to a point where like even big publishing houses might think, yeah, for those smaller scenes, just like prompt it and be done with it, okay? Saves us time and effort, hiring artists and whatnot, boom. Whatever like legal implications, we'll deal with that shit in post, boys. So again, I was looking further into that video that people recorded of me. And again, people had taken that recording and actually started looking through other fucking photographs that I have on the internet and literally made the craziest thing like this, this image of me like screaming during a live stream. Somebody expanded it to like this ultimate super rage where my face absolutely changes and I age like 40 years. <laughs> It's, co it's it's insane how quickly this stuff is re expanding at. So somebody found more of that video of me. So like here's 30 seconds of me freaking out. So you can see me teleport into the ether there. Things blow up. And then I turn into a cat while in, I believe, the same office as it just shifted to a living room in front of us. And of course, you can see this cute little cat walking around, you know, looking at this chair. The camera shifts around. The cat just switches. You know, an old man gets shit out of the cat and starts walking around. You know what this is? This is what we call schizophrenic AI. I'm not even going to mention the penguins that come out at the end. I'm sure somebody put Linuxes as a prompt and that's what it brought in. It's actually insane. Again, how wild, like when you leave a computer to come up with stuff, it literally looks like something that comes out of actual dreams. And the AI responsible for this shit is literally the Luma dream machine. Which again, you have 10 generations a day and you can literally just like write any prompt in, let it dream or put in photos. <coughs> and again, like some of the actual things that I have, like this image that I made where I was standing on top of like an actual like table turned into this shit right here. It's, it's actually so wild. <laughs> like you can see me turn into like a totally different person, just like levitating. It's generating the actual world around me. Like it took the curtains, generated more. Like it's crazy to the, to the level of what it's doing. And again, I gave it like a random prompt, a cow chasing you through the back rooms. And you can see like a literal cow running around what appears to be like the back rooms, literally flipping. You can even see that it's generated cow dong in a way too, or the udders or whatever. It's actually like 
just wild at what it comes up to. And obviously, this is built off of training data that it's probably captured through tons upon tons of videos, which is what it's building this stuff off of. But it literally is like the world of actual dreams. It took like five minutes for the AI to generate this on the server and then spit back the results to me. You know, it's Eid Mubarak. I might as well just like test this image out, see what it comes up with me at the, at the Hanukkah. Let's see this stuff, dude. So you just like drop the image in there and you just like hit upload and it'll like come up with whatever it wants. So obviously while that's cooking in the background, while that's baking, okay, let's actually look at how people have turned memes into like walking videos. So you see the distracted boyfriend meme? I used to just see this as a goddamn photograph, but now you can actually see it in a video. He's like straight up staring the chick down. The background makes sense. It's like five second clips generated by this actual artificial intelligence. And of course, like it's actually like, what's impressive to me is looking at how generally cohesive the backgrounds are. And obviously it is AI, like let's not pretend. If you know what to look for, this is not going to like blow your mind away. Like if you look at it, it break, like if you look at the faces long enough, they keep shifting into like different faces. And obviously these, there are like dead giveaways. But imagine being like a boomer on Facebook who already falls for AI in the first place. Bro, the world is cooked when it comes to misinformation. There's no joke about it. And of course, remember that one girl with the firefighters and shit, the distracted girls? You can even see us generating firefighters, like a whole event's going on, like a conversation. It's crazy. The fact that it's stable enough like this is already blowing my mind away. Remember that trumpet uh, boy meme, the trumpet boy, like th this low resolution image? Yeah, they've turned that into like literally them walking and like bugging the scroll. It's come up with the actual story, which I believe a bit of it is obviously prompting and whatnot, but it's crazy to see when you leave the AI doing what it needs to, it ends up actually coming out like a, like a dream from the dream machine. The best one is like the Doge, which I assume like this is just images. It's worked off of like pet videos on the internet. And of course it's just like obviously editing in like what it believes to be like any standard Shiba Inu photograph, but it's also like, working with the person in the background. Like it's got this person doing something too. It's got actual, like it focuses on the backgrounds. And if I talk about the backgrounds a lot, it's because that's still genuinely kind of blowing me away with how well it's handling it. So here's like the success kid where you can see the AI mess up because when he looks to the side, again, the face completely changes into something else. Giga Chad is super, you know, just Giga Chad as well. He's just working out. He's got the muscles, everything going on. Kind of looks like a PS2 character, but then again, like I think the original uh, styling was also heavily post-processed as well too. So it's just working with what it has to. I think the creepiest shit is the Mark Zuckerberg one. So this is like Mark looking through the window. Like this is actually creepy. Like if I watch this, this could be part of like a, like an actual slasher movie, dude. It's insane. And this one is really fun too. Like it's, it's actually got like Patrick Stewart <laughs> like represented. You can see like the face is AI gloss. That's just what I tend to call it. But yeah, it, it like actually turns these images into like cohesive videos. Now it's easy to say like they look pretty AI, but the thing is it's like the rapid pace that this stuff evolves at. I always think about it, right? Like. We saw Will Smith not too long ago go from like just shoving spaghetti in his face to seeing actual like proper looking video. But I always think about this stuff like, what is it gonna look like a year from now? You know, like a year from now, it's gonna look somehow more cohesive. Somehow it will. And that's just the thing that like scares me, right? Like when it comes to artificial intelligence, it's like, I can see like there's some value to it. Like recently I've been playing Elden Ring cause I'm prepping for the DLC. And in that game, trying to like find items or like certain enemies, normally I would use Google, but like for the entire playthrough, I've just whipped out my phone, opened the chat GPT app and literally asked it like, hey, where's so-and-so item or where's so-and-so enemy? And within seconds, it spits out a pretty cohesive result with an actual link that I can open up and get right to. I've unironically been using chat GPT to replace Google and all of my search engines. Like I actually feel like it does such a better job researching and like just looking up things on the internet than using an actual search engine these days. It's actually insane how in some capacity, the, the good part of AI actually outpaces what is currently available. Now, obviously, do I think that this stuff is gonna be used negatively? Sure, 100%. I think that there's gonna be like war footage or some crazy nonsense that's gonna be uploaded to like Facebook, Twitter, whatever social media platform, willing to get a rise out of individuals. And again, the better this stuff becomes, the harder it is for the average person to detect, let alone somebody that knows what to look for, okay? If we ever get to the point where I'm having like problems identifying if something is AI or not, 
then uh, that's going to be a real issue, okay? That's going to be a real problem because if I can't do it, if like the person, like I assume that most of you guys watching my video probably know what to look for. But imagine like your parents, if they don't know how to identify this stuff, it's over at that point, dude. Now, obviously, while this is cooking, I'll probably show it to you as we're talking here as I finish off this video. Ladies and gentlemen, AI is wild indeed. And honestly, I think I'm actually scared of what the future implications of this is. Right now, we can laugh at the fact that it generates me like, you know, twisting into myself and going into a different dimension. But I can imagine like in a year or something, you could probably make any YouTuber or any content creator say some of the wildest shit or do some of the wildest stuff on AI camera and absolutely cause some serious pandemonium on the internet. I think it's a matter of time before like at some point people jump in and like really start to actually provide proper regulations to this kind of stuff. And I don't even think regulations can really do much considering the fact that these kind of models at one point can probably actually run sometime down the road locally on hardware anyways. And when that happens, imagine turning off the guardrails and people use this stuff to come up with really illegal material. That is going to be something that uh, I think the world is going to have to watch out for. But anyways, that said, ladies and gentlemen, this is me, Mudahar. And if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Just like it if you dislike it. I am out.